Oh, the keys, and the lip here, back with another tutorial of OBS. And I'm going to be using one of the products from StreamUp as an example in this one, as you're seeing from this video clip as well. And we're going to be making your overlay kind of 3D, so you can hide elements behind your webcam and stuff like that. A lot of people have been asking how I've been doing it on my stream. So I'm going to teach you how to kind of hide things behind other things, but then pop it out at any point and put it in front of the things. What is this, 3D? Yeah, it was just manipulating layers and i don't I, I honestly don't know what to call this video but, but, but tr i might just hit the keyboard and see what happens all right put your rock the stone let's go Right, so you will need a couple of things to get this working. This is Move Transition plugin. Is there anything this plugin can't do? It's from Exceldro. Make sure you leave a review as well. It's an incredible plugin. We've used it a lot in a lot of our tutorials, a lot of the stream up stuff as well. So make sure you get that downloaded and installed. So when you do press download, just use the installer because that'll just make it just streamlines the process. Okay, uh, so get that installed and you'll also depend. You can use this with anything, but for my example, I'm using the stream up the uh, gold bar minim which i created and you can use that um pretty much for for anything as you can see and if you want to know how to install that there's a video as well here on the channel so it's all available super easy to use and we're going to be using that as the example so i've got it set up just here in obs so i'm just using this beautiful picture here uh, i'm using this color source just so you can see a little bit easier uh, what's going on on the canvas just here so i'm using the the gold bar which is that scene on its own as you can see just here i've put that scene in here is a nested scene if you guys don't know what nested scenes are then i've got a video on that as well and you can see the image here so these are just two sources and the desired effect that we want is we want it to appear on top of our webcam like so or our image and then we want it to move off and then we want it to move behind the webcam like so because then you could use it to change to a different thing or maybe just have certain elements pop in on your stream every now and then and rather than them slide in on screen they're already on screen but they just pop out behind your webcam pop to the front and pop on top and we can make all that happen using the move transition plugin so to get that sorted we just right click on the scene once we've got everything's kind of set up on there that we want to move and manipulate right click on the scene and go to filters and then we're going to press the plus sign and add a move source okay and we're going to call this um uh move on top first so this is going to be our basically our main position where we want it to end so i'm going to say on top i'm going to put it there and we're going to select the source so it's going to be the si andy lippy gold bar that i'm using because that's the one that we're going to be you moving around i'm going to just change it to a, a second there for now we can adjust all the times and the easings later on down the line i'm going to press get transform to make sure this is right but once you've added it the first time it should just pick up the the, the starting position anyway and we're going to be using the order basically to to get this to work and uh, it, it can be a little bit confusing but it don't worry about it okay we're just gonna get it all working and then i'll show you through it so once that's done we're gonna right click and we're gonna copy it and we're gonna paste it over here so we've got move on top two we're gonna rename this to um move um off mid okay so the reason I've called that is because we're getting it to move off screen now. So I'm going to get it to, to move to, say, there. Because we're going to get it to kind of loop behind, loop back out. And it's the same source. We just need to get the new transform just there. Okay. So we're going to now copy the top one again and paste it in once more. And this time we're going to rename this to um, move off. Oops. Now, so we've got three different movements. So we've got move top, move mid, and then we're going to have move off to go to the same position, but it needs to be behind. But basically, that's how it's going to work. And we're going to copy it once more to get another mid. Okay, so we're going to copy that and we're going to paste mid. So now we've got, um, it looks, oops, we're going to rename this one to on mid. So if you, we want it to go in this order, Move on top, move to the mid, move off, move to the mid, move on, 
and keep looping like so. We can add in delays as well. So we're going to click on move on top, go all the way to the bottom and say next move. We want it to be move off mid. Then we're going to click on move off mid and tell that we want it to go move off. This is if you want it chaining. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but I find it's really satisfying. <laughs> and then next move for move off will be move on mid. And then for move on mid, the next one will be move on. Okay. So if I do an example, press the top one, you'll see it'll all just start looping now. Like so. And it looks like it's not really doing what it's meant to do. But this is where we can add in the layer changes as well. So when it's moving off mid, we're going to change the visibility and order. So the order we're going to change, we can either change absolute or relative value. So the absolute is going to be what position in this sources list is it going to be in specifically. Or we can choose relative and that is going to be what position is it going to be compared to what's already there. So how many positions up is it going to move? How many positions down is it going to move in the source list? So I'm going to do relative, okay? So when this one moves off to the mid, it's going to end in this position because when, when this moves to the mid, we want it to move behind a layer. So I'm going to say minus one. So watch what happens this time. See how it hides behind now? Because it's moved down a layer and it's going to keep moving down a layer because I've, I'm, I'm just chaining this movement. So now when we move on to the mid, we want that to basically move up a position as well. So the order, we want it to uh, end relative up a position. Okay, so you'll see it's going to move up now, but it's in the wrong position. So I'm going to just drag that and move it to where I want it. Okay, so I want it there now. Be able to see if I zoom out, <laughs> you'll be able to see that it hides in front, moves down a source, comes back out, moves up, moves back out. And you probably see it thinking, Yeah, that, that looks cool and all, but it's happening too quick. You can start adding delays. So, when it's on top, for instance, I can add in a end delay. So, once it's finished, of say five seconds. So now it'll wait five seconds. That five seconds felt ages. It'll come back out. Like so, wait another five seconds. So if you wanted a, a subscriber alert or something like that to just pop out, you can get that to happen rather than it just animate on screen. You can have it pop out behind your webcam or something like that and then move back. So you probably see it. the, the transition's not super smooth but this is where we can play around with how we want different uh, easing to be done so say if we want it just to ease in or you can fiddle about with these ease out maybe you probably see see how it kind of slows down so i'm gonna get this to ease out this first one uh the mid i'll get it to ease in probably so now when it it's gonna probably ease into it so it'll kind of speed up towards the end like so and then hide out so with the next one i'm going to get this to see it's all about playing around with it so if i say ease out what's that going to look like oh that kind of goes a little bit too quick but you can see you're getting a different kind of feel now with the uh, animation yeah it kind of bounces in and we can do again mess about with easing say ease out what's that going to look like Oh, no, it'll be ease in probably that we want. See how it kind of looks like it's bouncing now, doesn't it? So you can get different effects by kind of looping them together. Again, changing the delays as well if you want to. So if you don't want it to just come straight back out, you could do the move off and then give it that an end delay of maybe three seconds, for instance. And then once it's off, it'll wait three seconds and then pop back out again. So it can be a little bit complicated depending on how many sources that you've got but since i wanted it to just move up and down a layer really quickly that's allowed me to use the uh, the really simple method of using the relative value to just move it down a position by doing minus one and then up one 
So I could do absolute if I wanted to, to get the same thing. So if I wanted it to, because we're on end relative, if I say, change it to end absolute, if I do zero, you'll see it goes to the bottom because zero is the bottom, then one, then two. So see it as that. So if I want it to move off, I want it to be behind. So I'm going to say move to position one. When it's coming back on, I want the absolute position to be in two. So you'll see we're in position two now. Then when it goes off, we'll go to position one because this is like the first source. The first source is always zero because it's like the bottom of the pile and you get that exact same effect. So this is something, again, I don't see many people use, the visibility and order, and the fact that you can chain all these together. I'm not using any other tools, like not using the Orange Board or Touch Portal. This is all happening automatically in OBS. So hopefully that's not been too complicated. I know it's quite dry, and a lot of these tutorials at the moment that I'm wanting to do are a little bit more advanced and require that little kind of talking a little bit more about it but if you've got any questions at all come see me on live stream put it in the comments i reply back to everything um as much as i can and hopefully hopefully you find it useful and I, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with with it there's so many features in this plugin that excel has put in that are literally second to none it's insane so please make sure you do share whatever you come up with in the discord all that jazz i'd, I'd love to to take part get get you on the uh, streamer showcase and all that jazz as well uh, so yeah these videos take me a while to do so if you want to support me then consider joining patreon or youtube membership or even just send me a coffee on paypal all that jazz it really is greatly appreciated all right guys put your rock in the stone and i'll see you in the next vid much love baby I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.